Incidentally, I should explain that Shiva is a Hindu god who has a reputation for being uh, the god of destruction. But in fact, that is a complete mistake and a misunderstanding. Shiva represents um, renewal, transformation. But that implies the necessary destruction of one thing in order for the new to come. And you have to have that constant turnover. That is what life is like. And the image of Shiva dancing in a ring of cosmic fire is one of the most important images to me because it, it, it has a circular philosophy about it. The idea that nothing is ever destroyed and yet everything is destroyed. That everything, that there is nothing new and yet everything is new. The, the river is, n never changes in one sense, yet the, the, the water in it is never the same water. It's all that idea that has constantly uh, inspired me, I think, in my life. The, uh, the members one of another, for example, that was the motto of the stand. But it comes from St Paul. It's not my idea. St Paul said we're members one of another, and though I don't like St Paul for all sorts of reasons, he hated women, I mean, all right, the fact that I'm a bit misogynistic is no excuse for St Paul being like that, all right? You know, he, after all, did found the Christian church, and I think he shouldn't be doing that. Uh, he was, um, you know, there are many things about Paul that I, I, I don't like, but there were many things I did, and he particularly understood this relationship between the one and the many. Well, let's just look at the let's just look at the way that um, shoaling fish behave. Now, here is something very interesting, because complex the complex behaviour of a shoal of three, four million sardines is beyond the scope of any single, very small-brained little fish on its own to do, and yet, when viewed as a whole, there is an emergent property. That, that, that exists within this shoal, which causes it to be able to behave in a very complex and very intelligent way in dealing with predators and thing, and you know, and for other reasons that fish shoal. And in fact, there are a lot of, um, of, of animals that do this. Ants do it in the most extraordinary way and build complex colonies and things like that. Paul um, understood from the, from, from the psychological point of view, if you like, that human beings were like that also. That, and I suppose Jesus said it. He said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst. Meaning that um, when a group of people come together uh, for, a, for a single purpose, for a single reason, like a football match or something like that, that's something more than just our individuality. Some, some property that does not exist within us at all as individuals emerges from within us as individuals, but then, in fact, inhabits the collective and that is uh, Paul understood that and that's what members one of another really means that we're all interconnected and that we owe our individuality in a sense to being members of this whole thing